Hey everybody, welcome to Cajun Living and Cooking. My name is Rodney Dupree and today we got a really cool show for y'all. We're in Tickfall, Louisiana for the Italian Festival. It's our first time out here so we're not really sure what to expect but I know we're going to have a good time. There's going to be a parade, we got a Queen's Eating Pizza contest, we got good music, we got good food, and I know we're going to meet some great people. So hang on, Cajun Living and Cooking is fixing to start right about now. Tide line, trout line, sitting on a pipeline, waiting for the sun to shine. Snap beans, red beans, cornbread and mustard greens, that's how we live and it sure feels fine. Well, you can't change us, that's the way we know. Cajun people live like they did long ago. So join the fun, live off the land, cause there ain't nothing better than a Louisiana man. Line, trap line, sitting on a pipeline, waiting for the sun to shine. Snap beans, red beans, cornbread, mustard greens, that's how we live, and it sure feels fine. All right, y'all, as you can see, the parade's just starting to come right here. Uh, we're out in front of Tickfall City Hall. We're sitting on the judges' stage. I believe we got about 20 floats in the parade, and they're starting to get really close. So uh, y'all just sit back and let's enjoy the Italian Festival Parade. All right, y'all, that was a great parade, and I and, uh, had a great time on that. And, and we're fixing to get on to the good festivities, but I'd like to learn a little bit more about the Italian Festival. So I've got a lady here. I'm going to let her introduce herself to tell us about the Italian Festival history. 
Good morning and welcome to Tig Fall for the Italian Festival. My name is Marietta Moretta Coslin. Uh, I was born and raised in Independence, lived there all my life, went to school there and everything. My grandparents, three of my four grandparents were born in Italy and so have a good Italian background. And uh, the festival actually started in 1973. Oh, wow. An organization of Italians and uh, community people, more, they weren't all Italians, there were some people just from the community, started a dance group with the, the year before we had had a centennial celebration. So they wanted, they kind of spun off off of that and they became the Little Italy Festival. Okay. The organization was called IACA. For the Independence Italian Cultural Museum, uh, Cultural Association. So, from there, they had it for seven years, till 1979, from 73 to 79. And of course, they weren't young people; they were kind of up in age. So they kind of had a trouble getting everything done for it. So they decided they couldn't handle it anymore. So there was a pastor in Mata Della Rosa Catholic Church in Independence that did not want it to die. So he organized a group of people that belonged to nonprofit organizations within the city of Independence. And that organization, representatives from that organization, formed the Independence Italian Association. All right. So we started. The first festival, the Independence Italian Festival, was in 1980. And we went uh, for quite a few years, and something transpired, and we, we split off. We decided to come here to Tikva, and uh, there was a group that formed the Sicilian Festival in Independence. Okay. But we came to Tikva 11 years ago. So that's how we originally got started with the festival. Well, that is really cool history right there. That goes way back. And, yeah, it and goes back. To the, the centennial was in 1972. Gotcha, gotcha. Great, great, great stuff, y'all. Let's go check out the festival now. Living Sin Mower Supply and Home Center, an authorized Hustler, Bobcat, and Toro lawnmower dealer. Specializing in service, support, and satisfaction. Come see the wide selection of new mowers, parts, string trimmers, blowers, chainsaws, and much more. Our home center features hardware, feed, outdoor cooking supplies, hunting gear, and everything for the do-it-yourself homeowner. Come take a short country drive to the hidden jewel of Livingston and experience real professional knowledge and health. Livingston Mower Supply and Home Center. Dreams Come True of Louisiana is a nonprofit organization that grants dreams to Louisiana children between ages 3 and 18 with a life threatening illness. Dreams Come True was founded in 1982 by seven families in Denham Springs with a goal of providing dreams to children. All funding was initially provided by those families. Dreams Come True is proud to have one paid employee and provides dreams throughout the state of Louisiana. Dreams Come True provides an average of 65 to 70 dreams per year. Visit our website for more information. DCTOFLA.com The new, completely renovated Fred's on the River Food Mark, located at the Port Vincent Bridge, is now back open and better than ever. With biscuits, coffee, and sandwiches ready every morning at 4.30 to get you started. And a full breakfast menu from 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. featuring homemade hash browns, pancakes, eggs, and our country-style biscuits and gravy. Our newly renovated store has all your needs from local vendors, plus cold beer, lottery, gas, and tobacco. Try our new lunch and dinner menu featuring our famous boat launch burger, overstuffed New Orleans-style pressed po' boys, 100% beef hamburgers, pizza, and by far the best onion strings you have ever tasted. So come by and enjoy Fred's on the River Food Mart, where we've come back bigger and better than ever, but we haven't lost our hometown feel. All right, y'all made it over to behind the scenes back here where the spaghetti's being made. I'm, we're going to get some of these guys' names and where they're from. Louis Trey, Punchatula. Pete Fidella Tickfa. Vernon Wagner, Albany. Chris Bankovic, Woodworth. Charlie Trebona from Hammer. 
Man, I've been having a good time here in this. Y'all make giant pots of spaghetti out here. Yes, so sir. this is the sauce. Yes, sir. They call it the gravy. Yeah, the gravy. And then the noodles are getting cooked back here. That's a lot of onions, and I can smell the garlic. I, I think yep. Italian food has a lot of garlic, yep. right? Just like Cajun food has a lot of garlic. Now, uh, you, you going to fill this pot up? This pot will get filled up? Up to here? Yeah, about right there. Yeah. Oh, wow, wow. That's a lot of cans of sauce in there. Yeah. Look, he's already got sugar ingredient. Look, here's one already made. Look at that. Hoo-wee. That'll cover a lot of noodles right there. All right, fellas, y'all keep up the good work. Good job. Yep, thank you. All right, y'all, made it over to the most famous Italian stuff, the spaghetti and the lasagna. And I'm going to get these ladies right here to say their names and where they're from. Rosie Tucker, Take Fall, Louisiana. Rosetta Calanoto, Tickfa. Debbie Trabona, Hammond, Louisiana. All right. What makes a good Italian spaghetti? Okay. We learn from our grandparents, our grandmothers, and when you get your gravy put together, after you get it on the stove, they cook it for three to four hours on slow. And that makes the gravy very thick and delicious. Right? And, right. and it smells very, very good. Now, That's the secret. Now, is there a secret to meatballs? I'm sure that's another whole world right there, the, the meatball world. Well, now, Roro, there's different ways y'all do that, right? There's baked meatballs, fried meatballs, right. boiled meatballs. And they all put different ingredients in there. If you can do a lot of meatballs, you bake them for about okay. 20 minutes with 350 oven. But if you're just going to do a few, you could fry them in a the frying pan. Okay. You but hearing you it? you cannot put them in there raw. You have to seal ah, them. They have to be cured. You got to uh, be sealed. Cooked. And gotcha. You, and another thing is to make it good is to put pork in your gravy. Okay. Pork. And gotcha. you got to sear it off. Now the noodles I hear el dente. Is that what we is that what we doing? Is uh is the noodle cooked or is it soft or where's the noodle got to be? The spaghetti itself. Which you mean, man? Explain. Uh, I, I've seen noodles cooked soft down. I've oh yeah, seen we noodles. don't overcook them. So it's a, a, a well. Yeah, we don't overcook it. It's a hearty just noodle. A hearty noodle. They, we don't like it overcooked. Gotcha, gotcha. All right. And uh, y'all also doing lasagna around here, too, yeah, I hear? Exactly. Yes. All right. This is our spaghetti, y'all. We're going to check on that lasagna next. Okay. All right. Like I said, we made it over to the lasagna, and I got the spaghetti queen with us. Let's get her name and where she's from and who she's with. Hi, my name is Sherry Tucker LeMay, and I'm actually from Tickva. Um, raised here the majority of my life and I am with the Knights of Columbus, Our Lady of Pompeii Council. This lasagna looks really really good and, and, and as I talk to the ladies about the spaghetti what, what makes a lasagna, a true Italian lasagna good? Um, of course lots of love yeah. but that your gravy you have to be patient when you're cooking that gravy and all those good cheeses that go in there. So let me get this right, a lasagna is layered See, I'm not Italian, okay. so I'm learning this a, a lasagna and Italian stuff. It's layered pastas. Yes, with um, gravy and uh, meat in between. And then you have the goja cheese, the mozzarella cheese, and the Parmesan cheese. Uh, lots of cheese. Lots of cheese. That seems like what I really yes. like. Well, thank you for stopping and talking with me. Oh, you're me. very welcome. Thank you. And we're going to eat some lasagna in a little while, y'all. All right, y'all, we made it over to one of the booths and uh, met some really nice people. The name of their booth is uh, That's Italian, and they have a couple restaurants. Um, we're going to get to watch the pizza from the dough, and that's that fancy part right there where they throw it around. Look at that. That's a talent right there, y'all. That's true Italian talent. And then it goes onto the wood. All right, now, peel. on the pizza peel, what goes next? Uh, our sauce. All right, we're going with the sauce. This is true Italian stuff, y'all. All right, homemade sauce. Yes, it is. Everything is homemade here. All right, then we go over to what kind of pizza are we making? Uh, they're just doing a cheese pizza. Just a cheese. So this is just a cheese pizza. And you were telling me your cheese is from? We're from uh, Wisconsin, and it's a mozzarella provolone blend. Oh, wow. Wow, that sounds really good. This is the cheese that they actually use in, like, um, uh, pizza championships and uh, whenever they had the pizza expo over in Las Vegas. Oh, wow. This is the type of cheese that they use. All right. Now, what's the next step? Into the oven. Into the oven. All right. They got a fire grilled, fire brick oven, I would have to say. Huh? 
trans, uh, uh, transport it to this um, perforated um, peel so that we can get all the flour off the excess bottom so it doesn't burn. Oh. We'll stick it into the oven. All right, sliding into the oven. So this will take about three or four hours to cook? No, it only less than two minutes. Less than two minutes and we got pizza, y'all. All right, it's fixed to come out. Hang on. All right, y'all, we made it over to the Queen's Pizza Eating Contest. And uh, how many slices of pizza do y'all have to eat? One. Just one? Yeah. Just one? One. One as that, fast as you can. As fast as you can, though. Okay. okay. Now, if you had a whole pizza, you think you could eat a whole pizza? If it was thankful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to move on down. Uh, one. How many pizzas can you really eat? Not many. Not many. Not, not many. many. Not many right here. No, What's your sorry. favorite kind of pizza? Cheese. Cheese pizza. <laughs> there it is, y'all. They fixing to get on down. Don't let me stop them. Y'all go ahead rolling now. Good old pizza. Oh, you already, you already got yours aimed up and ready. You, you ready to eat it? Yes, sir. Are you going to win? Yes, sir. All right. <laughs> I'm not sure what the winner gets either. Well, you get like a million dollars or some big prize. We got a big prize. All right, are y'all ready? Yes. Everybody ready? On your mark. On your set. Go. And there they go, y'all. They're on the pizza eating. Some of them folding. Some of them using the folding technique. Some of them using the straight off the end. Nobody went for the crust first, looked like. Everybody started on the point. Nobody. We got one almost halfway through. That's a pretty big piece of pizza you got to work on. We got the fold trick going on that side. This is going to be pretty tough right here. Nobody's dipping for sauce either. Uh, they're, they're, this, will, this will be the true Italians coming out. Maybe the, uh, I, got, I got my boudin queen working good over here. Look at there. The oyster queen. We got... The, the gumbo queen. We got somebody getting close. We got the fold on this side. Let's see. It's uh, getting kind of tense. They, they, now this is the kind of contest where the, they don't want to get stuff on their shirt. It's close. It's close to the end. There's one down. She's still trying to swallow it. They didn't give her any water. One down. Both of them. It looks in close. It might be a tie. We're going down. It could be a possible tie. Oh, it is a tie. The new, completely renovated Fred's on the River Food Mark, located at the Port Vincent Bridge, is now back open and better than ever. With biscuits, coffee, and sandwiches ready every morning at 4.30 to get you started. And a full breakfast menu from 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. featuring homemade hash browns, pancakes, eggs, and our country-style biscuits and gravy. Our newly renovated store has all your needs from local vendors, plus cold beer, lottery, gas, and tobacco. Try our new lunch and dinner menu featuring our famous boat launch burger, overstuffed New Orleans-style pressed po' boys, 100% beef hamburgers, pizza, and by far the best onion strings you have ever tasted. So come by and enjoy Fred's on the River Food Mart, where we've come back bigger and better than ever, but we haven't lost our hometown feel. Junior's Meat Market has everything you need when you're going to the camp, tailgating, or planning dinner. We make our own cracklings, beef jerky, whole cut cheese, and sausage right here in the store. We also process deer and hogs. Junior's Meat Market has an abundance of groceries and frozen items, which include crab cakes, fried oysters, tilapia, and more. We have daily meat specials, and we cook plate lunches every other weekend. Stop by Junior's Meat Market today and bring home dinner. Hey, y'all, we made it over to another booth, and I got a fine gentleman here I just met. Let's get his name and where he's from. Uh, Danny Rigel from Tickfall, Louisiana. And tell him who you support down here. Well, we're supporting the Riff Rigel uh, Foundation, and uh, we're cooking egg rolls here today, and we also have a Riff Rigel crawfish cook-off that's coming up May 18th here in Tickfall, Louisiana. Now, how ironic is that for me to run across another guy having a crawfish cook-off, but both really good things and both for good causes, really good causes, but what caught my eye was the fried snicker. So I, I moved on from fried Oreo. I've made my way over to the fried snicker now, so uh, i got to get a taste of that. I 
think I'm going to become an Italian. How, how, how's that compared to the fried uh, uh, cookies? Uh, we have first and first. <laughs> That's two you. firsts so far that I've found. All right. I think I'm going to become an Italian now I'm at the Italian festival. A little Cajun coming out in me yeah. and uh, fried Snickers and fried Oreos. I want a next is spaghetti and lasagna. And this well, you know, Rodney, you're a Dupree, so your your name ends in Y. So if your name ends in a vowel, you can be an Italian. All right. See, I'm in, y'all, at the Italian Festival having a good time. All right, y'all made it over to another patron over here testing some fried Snickers. I just tried one. Let's tell them your name and where you're from. Trey Amy. Trey from Amy. Go ahead and try it, Trey. It's fried Snickers, and I'm gonna tell you what, that was some kind of good. I, I didn't know. I think you can fry anything now. You can pick grass and fry it. It's very good. It's what? <laughs> it's very good. All right, Trey. Look at there. Good food at the Italian festival. All right, y'all. Made it over to another booth, and old Rodney's gonna finally get to see what a cannoli is, and uh, it, it's Italian pastry. I, I'm taking it now, as we see. Uh, she's got chocolate she's putting on one side and it looks like that would be vanilla cream yes vanilla cream on the other side and that looks pretty good right there but no she's got to make it a little better with some of these little chocolate pieces on it right there now that's that's a cannoli does anybody know the history of the cannoli around here we got a, a history buff Dave, knows Dave, Dave know the history of the cannoli Dave can you tell us the not the history all right. So it's a mascarpone cheese filling in there, y'all. And, and this booth is the Natalbany Baptist Church group. The Natalbany Baptist Church youth group. Now, now, tenth year being out here to Italian festival, and you look at that, and uh, that's probably that's uh, low fat. I would have to say, fat free. <clears throat> that you don't they don't charge for the fat, so it's fat free. So I guess how you eat this? You just dive in and, and you just get on in. They told me not to take one in and try to get all the filling out of one end. Don't you just get on in here? Yeah. So what's that? I didn't even get any on me. What? I'm gonna become Italian before this day is over. I can see now. The cannoli is my new best friend. And I'm digging the people at Natalbany Baptist. Thank y'all. No problem. Thank you. All right, y'all. We made it over to another booth, and this is something you got to see. It's the fried Oreos. She's going to uh, fry us up some right here. And, y'all, this is really cool. You, something you never would dream about. The Oreo goes over to the secret batter, and then they're dipped into the batter, and then dropped right into the hot grease, and she tells me they fry about three minutes. Now, uh, something I want to tell you about these folks, not only do they do good food like this, but they're a part of uh, REACH, which is Resources, Education, and Advocacy for Children with Disabilities. You can reach them at 985-507-3050. So before we come on right here, she fried me up a couple, and I'm going to have to try one for TV purposes only. I, I wouldn't normally do this, but for TV only fried Oreo with the powdered sugar on it and they said it's like a beignet. I don't have any on me, do I? Anywhere? No, no, no. None. None. Amazing! Wait, let me do that again. Man, that's good stuff. Fried Oreo, y'all, at the Italian festival. All right, y'all. I brought one of the fried Oreos out for these girls. Go ahead and get you a taste. I'm going to let them try it. One of y'all get a bite. No, she's going to try it. Fried Oreo. She looked like she was, you don't know much about fried Oreo until you really get to taste it. She's going for a taste. What's your name? Bailey. Oh, yeah? You having fun? You going to try the Oreo? All right. Tell me, was it good? Is it good? Yes. Yes? Good? Yes. Is it good? <laughs> you like me. I got when I ate I had it all over my face. Thank y'all ladies. Say thank you. Thank you. Baby. Man, where'd you get those Mr. Pete's from? Where's yeah, the new hunting and fishing store? 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 Yeah, on Highway 44 in Gonzales. It's Ascension Living and Outdoors. 
They carry a full line of fresh and saltwater baits and tackle, including Matrix, Voodoo Shrimp, Missile, Zoom, and local baits like Delta Lures and Humding. And the hunting section is loaded with calls, scents, knives, attractants, and much more. They even carry deer candy and Nate's buck bait. Oh yeah, ladies, there's even a gift shop. All right, y'all made it into another booth, and they really got it going on, too. This is uh, traditional tacos right here. It's beef tacos, and she was telling me that uh, they chopped the beef, and then they grilled the onions, and then on the side you have the... Uh, cilantro and the traditional salsa, Mexican salsa, the red one and the green. What's the difference between the red and the green salsa? Uh, green is a little bit mild, uh -oh. and the red is a little bit hot. A little bit hot. Okay, I'm gonna let her put these together now, and they got some really neat things in here, y'all. Some of the other things that they have is some uh, desserts. I seen the pineapple dessert. What do you call that? It's pineapple, crazy pineapple. Crazy pineapple. They come with the pineapple. They come with candy, sweet and sour flavors. Oh wow, it looks really, really good. And so did these tacos. I just seen these a while ago. Y'all wait till she puts this together. This is gonna be something really nice uh, at the Italian festival. Eating tacos. That's some, everybody's living right out here, I'm going to tell you. That's good eating. So you put the taco down, and that's authentic. Steak taco. Another taco. You get the steak on it. You get the grilled onions on it. And we're going to let the girl taste it. Maybe we can get her to tell us how good it is, too. So, I just tried them. They're good. Did you? Yeah. I, it looks so good just now, man. It's look really good you went with the red or the green the red it's good the red. Salsa too. it's got a little got a yeah. little kick to it yeah yeah it's hard to beat a good old a good old taco we're gonna have to let her taste it maybe she'll tell us yeah maybe she'll tell us how good it is if we can get her tasting it a good old taco right off man it don't get any better than that <laughs> you'll go throwing rocks at taco bell or something getting these i'm telling you she got a little taste don't look thumbs up thumbs up there it is right there y'all all right, y'all, I got the winner of the pizza eating contest right here. Let's get her name and uh, who she represents. I am Patience Prey, and I represent the River Paris Fall Festival Teen Queen of Hearts. Now, who would you like to thank for this pizza eating expertise? I'm going to thank my mom because she never lets me eat pizza because <laughs> we're on a diet, and um, it's like I haven't had pizza in over a year, so like it was like a big treat to me, and I was like, thank God. All right. <laughs> We haven't found out what you won yet. Maybe you want another whole pizza. I hope so. I could eat it today. Well, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right, y'all. What a what a great day. It's a little hidden jewel out here in Tickball called the Italian Festival. And I will be back, y'all. It's really, really, really good stuff. The parade was fun. The food is amazing. I didn't know Italian food was that good. Got to meet some good people. Got good music and really had a good time. And I want to thank y'all for watching Cajun Living and Cooking, and we'll see you next week.